welcome to the math review. In this question, we're asked to write an expression that's equivalent to 3 parentheses C minus 8D. Well, we should know that whenever we see a number next to parentheses, we have to use the distributive property. So let's rewrite this original expression so that we can make an equivalent one. So how many terms do you see inside of parentheses? Well, to determine that, I should figure out what the entire expression is. And what I see is, I see this is the beginning and then this here as the end. And whenever I see a plus or minus sign, I drop a line right in front of that and that'll separate my terms. So I have this one term here, which is a variable C, and then I have this other term here, which originally we read as minus 8D, but as a separate term, we could read it as negative 8D. So we've got the C here, but remember that whenever you have a variable by itself, the coefficient, or the number in front, is automatically 1. So this is really positive 1C. And this here is negative 8D. What we have to do is take this factor outside, this 3 here, and we're going to multiply the 3 times each term inside. So let's do 3 times the first term, so 3 times positive 1C. Well, 3 times 1 is just 3, and then I'll keep that variable C right next to it. So that's my first term, positive 3C. Now for my second distribution, I'm going to have positive 3 times the second term, which is negative 8D. So let's think about this. What's 3, positive 3, times negative 8? That's going to be negative 24. So here I'll write negative 24, and then I'll bring the variable down next to it, which is D. So separately, my first term is positive 3C, and my second term is a negative 24D. But as an entire expression, I don't read it as positive or negative. I read it as plus or minus. So this is 3C minus 24D altogether. So what we could say is that this new expression here, 3C minus 24D, this expression is equivalent to our original expression, 3 parentheses C minus 8D. Thanks for watching our video on the math review. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We might use your question in our next video. And if you found this lesson helpful, please make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And it would really help if you share this and our other videos to any of your social media platforms. See you next time on The Math Review.